Hi, I'm Michael. Welcome back. Today we're going to replant some orchids from the original growing medium into LECA. So these little guys are going to find a new little home. We're just going to do an example of one, but we've got a host of these uh, orchids, these Phalaenopsis that we're going to replant. Um, so you ready to dig in? Let's grow. So what you want to start with is removing the beautiful flower bract because the plant's not going to do so well initially when it's in LECA. It's going to go through a little bit of transition. A little uh, people may say shock, but it's it's going to be growing from 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 this nursery material into a into a clay. Uh, pebble type of material and the plant will, will be struggling to try to put out blooms while it should be putting out new roots. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim this flower bract, I call it, flower stock, right above this node which will keep the plant from transitioning any problem, pest or uh, bacteria or other things that can get into the plant. This node will help cut it off from getting deeper into the plant. I'm gonna cut the other one off, but this guy here is, this node is way in here, way down in here. You can almost not really see it. And just cut right above that. Okay, I'm sorry, I know, but it's been, it's, it's gone its course. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it out. You can see all the growing bark, but you can see how they initially grew this guy. They just kept up potting it where, I'm turn it for the camera. You can see that it was just growing in some like sphagnum and some, some other material. All this stuff here is basically dead, this brown stuff. The stuff that's alive, so you guys know, are these real sturdy things that feel firm to, the, to your touch. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in water, some just room temperature water, to let any roots that may be deceiving my eye that are alive, and we'll basically just cut away all the dead. So we're going to set, set it in here, just like like this and there we go and we'll come back 15 minutes and we'll go to the next step all right okay so they've been soaking for about 15 minutes and now what we're gonna do is remove earlier it was probably a little bit hard to see this sphagnum but now you can really clearly see it this is what they initially started to grow the orchid in we don't want this in LECA. We want to remove this. So um, most people will, you know, the next step is most people just start removing, removing this in the sink. But, but to me, it's right now, it's very clear which is, which is alive and dead. So I'm just going to cut away, cut away some of these dead roots that I, that I see. I'm going to start over here. This guy is dead here. This guy's struggling, but he's already dead here. Let me turn it around for the camera. This guy, believe it or not, this one's alive. So this one here has collapsed. This one's dead, cutting that one out. And below this green here, I'm cutting this one because it's dead. We keep turning it for the camera. There's a big dead one here. This guy is trying to hang on there, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna this one's dead, so I'm gonna cut him. But this guy, this guy is trying to hang on in the weirdest way. All oh, this is dead down here. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. This is for all intents and purposes, probably dead. We'll just have to, Come back and check in on it, but it 
it's, it's trying to hang in there. This guy is definitely trying to hang in there, but it's probably on its way out. But you want to remove any of this organic material. This is like pine bark. This is a dead root. It's kind of already severed up here. So I'll cut these other little dead pieces. And we have a bunch of clearly dead stuff here. Just being tricky. You were just trying. This guy's a, this guy's a scrapper. He's trying to hang in and cut these off. We're just gonna take energy away. What are you taking them for when you press them? Uh, if they're squishy. So if they're squishy, you know they're dead. And if they kind of have a little plump or bounce back to your touch, you know clearly these little green guys. You know this is the beautiful, beautiful area root. You know um, orchids are epiphytes. They typically grow on trees and and they they need lots of airflow around the roots. That's why they're really, really good for using in LECA. But um, what I'm going to do next now is, oh, look at that, another dead one, is go over to the sink. And I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll continue the video. And I'm going to pull away all this after, uh, sphagnum. Um, and then we'll move on to the potting. Oh, we're going to, and then we're going to go to sterilizing or help sterilize the roots. Sorry, be right back. Okay, okay, so now we've cleaned up the roots and we've uh, cleaned up the growing medium that the orchid had from the nursery. And this is the little guy I was telling you about earlier that I have a gut feeling that this guy wants to, this guy looks like he's dead, but he's got a little bit of green, so he's got a fighting chance. So I'm gonna plant him a little bit higher in the LECA in case he doesn't make it. But well, we got some good roots here that, that we're gonna put in the LECA. And um, depending on how they adapt, you know, orchid, orchids are unique, you know. They, some of these may just die outright. Some of these may be able to adapt to the LECA and start growing in the, in the pebbles. So, so our next step, before we put in the LECA, and one thing I wanna mention is that before we did any of the root trimming, you need to spray your cutting, cutting shears with alcohol just to, help sterilize because we're cutting the plant's roots and you don't want bacteria and viruses and other organisms trying to get into the plant. So so I wanted to mention that that it's always wise to do that. So our next step we're gonna do is we're gonna spray, spray the roots and the plant with this little Diego mix of, uh, it's a basically a soap, neem oil, um, water and um, uh, I believe alcohol. There's a little, there's a small amount of alcohol in it, and it's a really good mix that you just spray the whole plant to help disinfect, and it's good for the soap. Sorry, I don't know if I have it on full. Oh, it's locked. There we go. So you just spray around, and you know, neem oil and soap is good for those pests that we don't want: aphids, mealy bugs good in the roots and then and then we go over to look at our fancy bottle here hydrogen peroxide and this is just great for disinfecting roots so we just put a spray bottle and it's you know it assists this mix but it's good to just to spray it down if you have it um, harmless to the roots There you go. Now, now we're on to another fun part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and get the LECA. So our next step is to let this guy sit for a little bit for about 10, 15 minutes, soak it all in. And then uh, I'll be prepping the LECA and the uh, net pot for it to be planted into. All right, be right back. Now we're gonna take our orchid and we're going to put it in uh, the net container, net pot, uh, with LECA. So what you want to do is in the bottom third of your container, put LECA. There's LECA. We've already rinsed it a few times. And it's just you know, clay pebbles. They're fired at very high temperatures. And they, you know, they get that 
high temperature firing does is give this clay pebble a lot of tiny little openings inside so it can kind of just bring through capillary action, bring water up from the bottom of the container up to the roofs. That's why there's this big Lekka craze and it's perfectly suited for orchidias because it's got all these little openings and spaces. Not only that the net pot has all these you know, cuts on the side for airflow and the roots will try to get in and grow out of it, but just the pebbles themselves have a lot of a lot of air space between them. So we filled up, I'm sorry I went too fast, we filled up about a third of the container with the Lekka and now we take these these beautiful roots. This guy here, I'm gonna let him do his thing. He's, he's already growing upwards and outwards. So these others, and I mentioned this crazy one, I'm gonna keep at the top in case he dies. It doesn't, I don't have to pull out a lot of the Lekka. And we're just gonna set them in there and in their new little home. And now we come back in with the Lekka and pull it in there. Uh, orchids roots are pretty tough, so you can kind of just sort of drop them in there. But I've seen other people, you don't, you don't wanna like throw the Lekka on top of roots, especially on other plants that have tinier, more fibrous roots. I just donated Lekka to our, our floor. And you can see it has added some in there. And add a little bit more. And then on the other side, rotating around. There's that crazy one that's way up here. And this is just He's a scrapper. He's, I think he's going to make it. I think he's going to make it with him. We will see. We will see. So. Oh, I think he's going to do so good. Oh, I think he's going to be very, very happy in this. Oh, he's going to be happy. Happy, happy. I think we have got it going on. Oh yes. Oh, this looks great. This looks great. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're in the home stretch, everybody. We have uh, in our uh, watering can, we have a very light mix of a 936 um, liquid fertilizer. Um, some people have their own their own mix that they like to use. I like to go very light. We like to go very light with the fertilizer in the container because this guy's just been through a lot of a lot of stress doing all this. So the whole the whole thing with the with the nursery in the net pot of going one third, you want to fill the bottom of this container. No holes in it. Everyone probably knows this from IKEA. Um, bottom one third so they can pour, bring water up just to the Lekka, not into the roots so that the so that and then the pebbles above will start by touching the, the pebble below it will start to bring up through capillary action the moisture and so the, it's kind of like this slow slow process of of uh, bringing water to the roots when they need them so they can adapt there there is one root that kind of is right on the edge of that one third so we'll see how he does um, so we just fill this up Basically almost clear because it was real light on the. And it's kind of cool with these Kia pots, they have that line on the center there. And we just set this guy in there. And now we, we, all of us, have just transitioned an orchid into Lekka. If you have more than one orchid to repot into Lekka, you simply just rinse and repeat the steps we did before. Trim off the dead roots, spray down the roots with uh, disinfectant of uh, hydrogen peroxide and that, that alcohol, water, and soap mix just to try to make sure you get any bugs uh, taken care of. And add some Lekka to the bottom third of the net pot. Install your orchids and fill the rest of it up with Lekka. Then Finish it off with the final touches of adding your water in the bottom one-third of the container. And 
you're all set. We want to thank you for joining us and stay tuned. We'll, we'll be doing many more videos of repotting other plants into LECA and plant uh, on packaging of, of plants that were, were new plants we're trying to, to test out and see how well they do in an interior environment. So until next time, thank you for joining us. We want to thank you again for joining us. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and let your friends and family know too. Thanks again.